And Vernon will send this all the way back down inside of the Warriors' end where Caden Hamming makes his first touch of the hockey game as the puck lays loose in the left-wing corner. Vernon will get it and carry on. Pass back to the left-wing point. A long shot, tipped in, scores! A similar story for the Warriors. The first shot of the game finds the back of the net. And just like in game number three, it's the same story in game four. Connor Welsh on a deflection of a shot by Luke Ashton from the left point, and Vernon takes the one to nothing lead. Touched up there, looked like it did anyways by West Kelowna. Gathered up by the Vipers, here's Compton to the net. Backhanded on, stopped by Hamming. The rebound, they score! On the delayed penalty right in front, it's Dylan Compton. Went to the net on the backhand, stopped by Hamming. And the Warriors are going to have to look for a big pushback here in game number four. And they come in and score right away. And the power play for Vernon will go for the second time here on the night. He's off the faceoff, Dylan Compton will find a midpoint, tipped on, scores! And Nick Porchetta will fire that all the way down inside of the Vipers zone. Knocked down there by Ethan David, and now Dylan Compton will start out from his own end. Compton. Drop pass. Trombley will skate onto it on the right side. Trombley makes a move. Cuts in right circle to the net. Stop. Rebound scores. <laughs> Just don't know which team will be on the brink of elimination on Sunday night. Uh, puck drop 7 o'clock for game 5 on Friday. Make sure you're there. Shot in left side scores. Max Borovinsky makes it 7 0. So 4.1 to go here in the third. Off the face off, this puck back along right side. Reeves not very happy about third as well as some pushing and shoving of the buzzer and this one's over. It's a 28 save shutout for Ethan David and the Vernon Vipers win game four by a final score of seven to nothing.